<laughs> I kept getting this call, this question, who sent you? And I was too dumb to realize what that meant. Who sent you? Where did you hear about this? You know, <laughs> it was a job posting. Oh. <laughs> But Joanne Keegan had a lot to do with that because uh, she was the, TSA, the local TSA t tuberculosis surveillance nurse and she said you really should apply for this job. Um, the job description was sort of strange to be honest with you. Uh, it was sort of leap tall buildings in a single bound because of the history of what they've been through so they wanted someone who was, I'm a trained sanitarian. My basic background as you can see is, is, is code enforcement. Uh, uh, even though I'm married to a public health nurse and I'm familiar with public health nurses and work with them all my professional career, my background is actually environmental health. And they wanted someone who had background in both of them. And I was, actually I was one of the few people I think around that could have ever found that had enough familiarity with both, even though I'm not a nurse, to be able to, to deal with the, the problems that came about when they got here. And then John Cox during the first budget crisis in 2004 moved us into this building. Mm -hmm. Uh, because uh, to break the lease where we were on John Street, 35 John Street, uh, for a budget savings issue, we would have been here ever since. So, but it wasn't for Joanne telling me and sort of nagging me that why don't you apply, I probably would have said it's too far north uh, from where, I live in Wayne, don't forget, so it's 46 miles each way. My wife worked at the state lab until a couple of years ago with Joanne in the TV program for 22 years. And my wife, uh, who's a public health nurse, uh, it was only a 12 mile commute for her. John Cox uh, was, uh, I thought, uh, a great guy to work for. Uh, Bernie and I had some issues at first, I think, uh, getting on the same page, but uh, that rapidly changed. And of course, Kevin, and now we went through the, this transition into the new administration. It's gone smoothly. It's time for him to, I guess, decide what mark he wants to place on his administration in terms of how this department is run. We had one school nursing director, Kathy Brousseau, and that was it for management. And you had a bunch of nurses out in all these school buildings. One nurse per school building, basically, mm -hmm. except for the high school, who were isolated from each other and couldn't really leave the building. And Kathy really couldn't leave here because she was doing, well, we have now four people here. We've got now a school nursing leader, and we have three zone supervisors. And we've broken up the 20 school buildings into three zones, and they provide backup as well as uh, support, training, and everything else to the uh, building-based nurses.